Are you locking it down? My name is Greg. You're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so I've been using these for a little while now. If you had seen on Instagram, uh, Lock Laces was nice enough to send out a whole bunch of samples of their elastic laces, uh, so that way you never have to tie your shoes again. So I had been interested in, you know, trying to use some of those, uh, the elastic laces before, and uh, yeah, so thank you to Lock Laces for, for sending out uh, a whole bunch. So I am gonna be doing a giveaway later on, so make sure that you stay tuned. Uh, I wanted to go through the different types that they have, and then I'll talk about my, my own review of them, and just how I've kind of like them. Okay, first one I want to talk about is the, let me get that in the light a little bit better. Uh, they have a boot version. Their boot version is their longer version and it is a little bit thicker. Uh, so that way it can, you know, most boots like hiking boots or, or even, you know, uh, military or, you know, those, those kinds of boots are going to go a little bit higher up on your shin. Um, so that way you're able to actually lace it up because these are 70, yeah, 72 inches. You can see right there. Uh, eventually yeah they're 72 inches and uh that way it'll fit everything they do come in a couple different colors uh this is just their camo one then they have i think it's black and tan um so that is that one and i've actually put those onto my running shoes so uh just kind of testing them out but this way at least you can kind of see how they look when they are on uh shoes themselves the next one that they have is basically like their original laces so these are going to be good for and really any other shoe, I could have put them on my running shoes, but these are on my uh, my workout shoes. So I use these whenever I'm doing like Patty's workout, uh, which still has been great. Again, I don't make any money off that. Uh, you guys need to go hit them up if you want to be serious about your workouts in paintball because uh, it's just a great workout. But uh, when I'm jumping around and doing all his crazy different movements and all that, it's good to have uh, the lock laces on there and they've been holding up pretty well. And then last up is their Pro Series. Now their Pro Series is going to be actually a little bit thinner. Uh, I've, I've gone down in thickness. So the thickest one is their like hiking and their boot version, uh, that kind of outdoor lace. Then the kind of middle of the road, you could say, is the original. So those are going to be uh, kind of in between this one and the boots. These are a little bit thinner. The reason being is that it was actually made for uh, this guy, Robert Killian who does uh obstacle course races and i guess with his shoes some of the eyelets were a little bit thin so they actually had to make it a little bit thinner for him but they also made it where the the locking mechanism was a little bit stronger and all of them are waterproof so you're going to be good with that when i was actually talking with lock laces and kind of hey this is what paintball is all about and they said that this is going to be the best one for you so that's why I have them on my uh, my cleats. So yes, they are still dirty, uh, but of course they're cleats, so they're gonna be dirty. But you can see that they are a little bit thinner. Um, they're not as flashy, so if you if you like having you know kind of brighter colors, uh, these aren't gonna be the ones for you. But these are gonna be more recommended for paintball. That being said, you could use any of them on cleats. I think all of them are gonna work fine. Uh, it's just that those Pro Series are gonna be even better. So again, it's not necessarily that the other ones aren't good and aren't going to be able to get the job done. It's just that these are more designed for that real muddy environment and dealing with a lot of those harsher conditions. The other ones are going to do just as well, but the Pro Series is the one that you would probably want to look towards if you're looking at these specifically for paintball. Okay, so actually putting these on is real simple. All you need to do is take the laces out of their package. So you're gonna lace them through the same way that you would with any other lace that if you you know broke your laces or whatever. Um, and what you wanna make sure that you do is that you actually have your foot inside of your shoe or your cleat while you're doing it so that, that way you can get the tightness right. That is one thing that at first I was like, oh, these are way too tight, but that's, actually user error. I'm so used to kind of torquing them down uh, to have it on there. Instead of it being with these, you really only need to have them kind of snug because they're going to kind of flex with your, your foot. So you don't have to worry about having it torqued down on your foot. It's going to kind of move around with you. Um, so that was a mistake that I made. <laughs> so uh, learn from it. But once you've actually gone through and laced them, kind of tighten them, and then when you put them through the eyelet, that little mechanism, uh, there's two separate eyelets, and that's actually something that Lock Laces was saying that 
separates them from some other companies that make other kind of elastic laces is that it's a dual system instead of a single system. So it's help, it helps it so that, that way you're able to have a, a, better, a better hold on the actual uh, lace itself. Uh, that being said, once you actually have it, uh, and it's okay that they're kind of floppy at first, you kind of walk around, make sure that you have the correct uh, tightness, uh, stand up, move your foot around and all that. Uh, then you're going to get that little clip. It looks like a little alligator clip. And you're going to cut the laces, which I know is weird, but you're going to cut the laces. They recommend like two to three inches below where the actual uh, mechanism is to hold on to the laces. So that, that way uh, you're able to slide it down and, and take your shoe off. Uh, so once you find that, you can, you know, you cut the laces and then you, you clamp it down and then you're good to go. Overall, I mean, I would... I would say you should go for it. I mean, I, I again, I don't get paid for this. This is a, a cool product and it's not expensive. I think you can get a three pack. Uh, if you go on their website, I'll put the, the link down here. Um, they have a bunch of different options. You can just buy one or if you wanna buy a three pack. And uh, regardless, I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of these because they sent me a whole bunch. So the way that you'll be able to enter this is I want you to put in your comments down below. Uh, there's going to be two parts to this. So the first part is in the comments down below, you're going to type in what is your favorite workout when you go to the gym. Even if it's just going and running or something like that, that's okay. Or if you have a specific workout that you like doing, uh, put that down in the comments down below. And then you're going to email me. Uh, I'll put my email down here. It's how to play paintball 5 at gmail.com. In the, uh, the title, just go ahead and you can put like lock laces giveaway. Uh, and then I just need you to put in your uh, username for YouTube and what was your answer. And then that way I'll be able to put those two together. Uh, I'll also put around here somewhere around my head uh, when I'm going to be doing the giveaway. So I'll be emailing you guys. So if you forget that email step, you won't get contacted. And it is only going to be for those that are in the U.S. So if you're out of the country, uh, you would just have to pay for the shipping. Um, uh, if you're in the U.S., I'll, I'll pay for the shipping to get it over to you. But uh, unfortunately, it just sometimes can get too much uh, for, for out of the country. So the way that I'll do it, though, is uh, it's going to be a random grab of two. So you might get like the boots and then the original, or you could get the pro series and, you know, the boots or maybe two original or two boot versions. All of them are going to work great uh, for any any shoe or cleat. Uh, I don't want you to think that the other ones, just because they're not the Pro Series, aren't going to work well. It's just that the Pro Series, it was just designed a little bit more specific to like obstacle course races, which is probably going to translate better to paintball. So considering that, you know, like it worked fine, even though I was using the, the boot version for my running shoes, it's gonna work fine for, for cleats. So uh, it just might be a little bit of a different tweaking than you would do for the obstacle course ones for the Pro Series. So uh, all of them are gonna work fine. So if you get the boot one or the original one, it's gonna work great. Uh, it's, yeah, I just wanted to have kind of a blanket statement. But if you're gonna go purchase them, they do recommend that for paintball specific stuff, the Pro Series is probably gonna be the better one to go with. So guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for those that have been with me from like the beginning. It's crazy how we have so many subscribers now and yeah, it's 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 just ridiculous. So uh, thank you to those that are new as well as my, my old subscribers. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, thank you for watching, but as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.